out on time and make your customers happy. 6.30? Yep, we're right on time. <laughs> Do I look happy? Blast off. All right. You sure got a lot of these rad little guys, Corny. He only needs one more and he's got the complete set. John, John, I just woke up from a dream where this big scary thing was chasing me and everywhere and there's no place to hide and he almost hey, got me. Corny. I was just it's just a dream. A dream can't hurt you. <sighs> well, oh, 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 there's something hurting in my mouth. Uh, Corey, quick, ask me what time it is. What? Just, come on, ask me what time it is. What time is it? It's tooth hurty. Get it? Like, two thirty? Like, um, uh, <sighs> I guess it's time to see the dreaded Dr. Dreadful. Dreaded Dr. Who? He means Dr. Dresden, the dentist. He fixes people's teeth and fills in cavities. Cavities? Yeah, like the one you got in your tooth. Oh, I mean your muncher. Mm -hmm. I have never had a cavity. I never will. Teeth as strong as steel. <laughs> I have a cavity in my muncher! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. If you don't do anything about it, it's gonna get worse and worse and worse. Mm -hmm. Breakfast, Corny, it's your favorite pancakes. <laughs> That's one there's a rotten egg. And the first one has to eat it. <laughs> <laughs> Once I ate 21 pancakes. I'm stuffed. Oh, come on, Corny. Oh. I dare you to eat just one more pancake. Corny, you don't have to eat another mouthful if you don't want to. Dr. Dresden. <laughs> the most evil torture of them all. <laughs> oh, John, please. Corny, going to the dentist is a normal part of human experience. I'm gonna drill you to your fool away. <laughs> Hey, don't let John scare you. All right, listen, listen. This is what's going to happen when we take you to the dentist's office, okay? Strap you down into a big, comfortable chair. Then they, uh, shoot a few x-rays. The sound of the drill can be a little bit piercing. Put your teeth, they're going to come out gleaming and white. Dr. Dresden is the nicest dentist in the world. Please, Mr. Ring, don't make me go. I've never been to a dentist before. I'm afraid. I understand, Corner. I understand. Ow. Doing something you've never done before can be pretty scary. Don't be such a chicken. This isn't a big deal. Come on, guys, we're, we're out of here. We're gonna be late. Did, did you remember to brush your teeth? Um. So, so I really have to go to the dentist? Oh, absolutely, Corny. Your tooth, I, I mean your muncher, it needs to be looked at by our dentist. Oh, do you want to take your energy pack with you? No, that's okay, Missy. I'll win something from the vending machine at school. He thinks the vending machine is like a video game. <laughs> he puts a corner in it and you get some candy. Oh, 
Corny, you don't win anything if the food you eat gives you cavities. You need to eat food that's good for you. Don't worry, Miss E. I only eat the good stuff. <laughs> oh, gotta go! Hey, first one to the corner wins. <laughs> Okay, Carney. Today, you can have a head start. Okay. <laughs> you tricked me! It's just a joke. You're supposed to laugh. Guys, now we're really gonna be late. Come on. Oh, zap us to school! <laughs> Us. Last time you zapped us, we landed in the petting zoo. Remember the smell? <laughs> Corny, you never know where you're gonna end up with that thing. Come on, guys, let's go. Hey, great to meet my head! You picked in my head! National Dental Health Week, let's talk about your teeth. Can anyone name for me some foods that help keep our teeth healthy? Uh, milk, fruit. Good. Who can think of some things that we eat that aren't so good for our teeth? Sorry, I'm late. Part time. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy your trip. <laughs> See you next fall, Gumby Head. <laughs> Come on, everybody. Pay attention. Now, who can tell me some things that are bad for our teeth? Gum, uh, cupcakes, potato chips, hard candy, more gum. That's right. Mm -hmm. Anything with sugar in it. Sugar is hard on your teeth. Mm -hmm. Lucky for us, our teeth are protected by enamel. That's the white outer part of the tooth surface. If you tap on it, you'll see how nice and hard it is. Don't tell a teacher. Oh, oh, oh. Tell what? About my cat. Oh, you mean the big cavity in the back of your mouth? No! My cavity's in the front, remember? Corny, you have a cavity? My earth mom says I have to go to the dentist. <laughs> you probably do. All of us have to have regular checkups at least twice a year. Probably all that candy and stuff you've been eating. Don't you know it rots your teeth? Sheesh. Corny, you should choose healthier snacks like peanuts, carrots and apples and do a good thorough job of brushing after meals you mean i have to bring my toothbrush to school no chewing on an apple or a piece of celery will help clean your teeth after you've eaten lunch and if you can't brush the next best thing to do is to swish with a mouth full of water it rinses out the food trap between your teeth corny come show the class how easy it is to swish I don't know how, Miss Parson. I've never really swished before. It's easy. Use a nice cold glass of water. Drink a mouthful. <laughs> roll it around in your mouth, giving everything a good rinse. <sighs> you were right, Miss Parson. Cavities don't like cold water. Oh! Was it necessary? Ow! Ow! Remember, tomorrow Miss Wisdom Tooth will be here. She's going to teach us how to brush and floss. Thanks for the. <laughs> 
Okay, space base. Hey, give it back! It's mine! Oh, you want it back? Yeah, give it to him. It's his. It's mine. I paid for it. Oh, sorry. My mistake. Here. Oh! Take it. <laughs> Corny, you gotta do something about that guy. He's a bully. Are you just gonna stand there, Corny? Yeah, yeah. Corny, do something. Hey! Hey, you! I'm not scared of you! Why? Bitch! If there were bullies on my planet, they could all be you! You talking to me? No. Good. Uh, 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 Tony, you can't let him do that to you. It's not right. My, uh, oh, forget him. He's a bully. He needs someone to pick on. Uh, Just try to stay away from him. Come on, let's go. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll try to stay away from him. And then maybe he'll forget that he picked on me. gotta go to the dentist. I'm afraid. I, who knows what he's gonna do to me? He'll fix your cavities, that's what he'll do. We can both finally get some sleep. You don't understand. You don't know what it's like to be afraid. You are not scared of anything! Don't be ridiculous. Everybody's scared of something. afraid of? I don't know. You know. Things. Like what things? Mid sharks, mid snakes, the poisonous ones. Those things don't count. Come on, look. It'll be our secret. Cross my blues. I won't tell anyone. Okay, okay. I don't like... Talking in front of the class. You know, giving reports and stuff. Really? That scares you? That doesn't bother me at all. I get nervous up there. Everybody looking at me. Gives me the creeps just thinking about it. And tomorrow, I have to give a report in class. So can we please get some sleep now? Okay. Good night! Night, horny. Mm -hmm. Ah! I almost forgot! I'm scared of the dark! <laughs> <laughs> Outfit, pirate girl. John, Corny, rise and shine. Uh, so, y'all ready to give your report, John? Yeah. Good. Then you won't have to be nervous when you give the report in front of class. Because if you're all ready, then you know what you're going to say. Which means you don't have to get all nervous with everybody looking at you. You know, come on, like, like you told me last night about, you know, you get real scared when you have to give a report in class. Why don't you just tell the whole world? Oh, oh no, I forgot! That's our secret! You're afraid to give a report in front of class? I didn't know that. I thought nothing scared you. You have better things to do than talk to some wacky girl in a pirate's costume. I... Mom. Did you brush? Yeah, I did. Corny, 
No. I'm never brushing my munchers again. Your teeth are going to fall out. Cosmic. Then I'll never have to go to the dentist. Well, you are going to the dentist tomorrow. James will pick you up out in front of school. John, good luck with your report. Today is our special guest day. Ta-da! Here's Miss Wisdom Tooth. Miss Wisdom Tooth today is going to show us the correct way to brush and floss because cleaning your teeth the right way will help prevent cavities. Now she tells me. First, we will floss. Each of you has a piece of dental floss in front of you, correct? Kate, John, would you please come give Miss Wisdom Tooth a hand? This is my floss. Take your floss and wrap the ends around your middle finger. And as you floss, you can reel the floss through your fingers. Hold it tightly between your fingers, sliding it between your teeth. Hold it away from the gum and against the side of the tooth, scraping it up and down against the side of the tooth like this. Now go in and out between the teeth. Down, in, and out. Oh, 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 corny. Check your finger, dear. I think you're cutting off circulation. Uh oh, she's gonna blow, Captain. Did she come out? Corny, are you okay? Yeah, just, just flossing around. Watch carefully as we angle the toothbrush, like this, 45 degrees. Brush gently in short back and forth scrubbing motions. <laughs> Not big long ones. The outside of the tooth. <laughs> and the inside of the tooth. <laughs> hey, hey, this is fun! <laughs> Ah! Great job, everybody. Now let's thank Miss Wisdom Tooth for showing us how to take care of our teeth. Okay, now let's clean up our mess. I'm never gonna go see him. Why? Because you're a big zirconian chicken. That's why. Look, John, I know you're mad at me because I told Kate your secret, but I just don't know how to keep secret. On Zarkon, we don't have secrets. Look, I already told you I'm sorry. Don't, don't you believe me? Oh. <laughs> And to this very day, nobody knows the secret where Captain Kidd's famous lost treasure is buried. Because that secret, my dear landlubbers, the captain and his pirate crew took to their watery graves. Oh. <laughs> Excellent! Excellent job, Kate. My goodness, so inventive. Ah, oh, let's see. Ah, oh, John, you're going to talk about astronauts in the space program, right? The U.S. space program. The U.S. space program began when um, the Russians launched their Sputnik satellite. Uh, the original mm -hmm. seven astronaut a astronauts were... Uh, Ms. Parsons, can I start over? I want to do a different report today. Is that okay? Okay. I want to give my report about Having friends. Oh. It's oh. called having friends. Sure. I think having friends is one of the most important things in the world. It's even more important than having lots of money in the bank. 
because without friends, who are you going to play with? And who are you going to joke around with? Sometimes good friends let each other down. And they wonder if they can be friends anymore. But it's important that they try to stay friends. Because a good friend is hard to find. The end. Yeah. Try doing that. Oh, God! I get hurt! I dare you. Oh, don't be so afraid. Oh, John, I, I can't do that. Kate's a much better biker than me. Besides, I'm going home. Get up, this isn't funny. I don't think he's breathing. No, we need a doctor. But not the dentist! <laughs> scared of us! <laughs> it was a joke! You're supposed to laugh. I thought you were dead! You really scared us, Connie! Good, I scared you. So now you know what it's like to be me. I wish the two of you wouldn't dare me to do things that I, I can't do. Real friends wouldn't do that. <laughs> Are you worried about tomorrow's dentist appointment? <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Dr. Dresden is a really nice man. You're going to like him a lot. Miss E, how come when things seem to be getting the best and going great for me, they start becoming the worst. Tell me what you mean. I'm scared of everything. I'm a big chicken. I'm like an alien chicken. I'm like fried chicken. I'm scared John won't like me. I'm scared that Kate won't like me. Just because I won't take a dare. What's wrong with me? Oh, I think I know. You do? You know, there's nothing the matter with you. You're just very smart, and you've got a powerful imagination. I am? I do? Yeah. And you use your imagination to imagine the worst things that can happen. John dared me to try a stunt riding bike trick, and I told him I couldn't do it because I knew I didn't know how to do it, and I knew I would hurt myself. and I, I might break something. Oh, well, see, you are really smart because you used your common sense. You didn't take a dare where you could have hurt yourself. Sometimes it's really smart to play it safe. But then there are other times, times when you need to dare yourself to do something that you might be really afraid of. Why do bad things have to happen to good aliens? Lots of good things happen too. You're a really important part of our Earth family. We're going to take good care of you. Do you think you can sleep now? Yes. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Do you want your light turned on? Oh, no. I, I don't need that on tonight. Good night. Good night, sweetie. Night, Mom. Be tight. No. no, I don't. I don't need that on. It's not for you. It's for me. Are you scared of the dark? No, no. If I wake up in the middle of the night. I want to see that you're okay. <laughs> I'm okay, especially since we're friends again. I just don't want to go to the dentist. Don't worry, Corny. I'll be with you. That's what friends are for. Night, John. Night, Corny. Hey, <sighs> come here.
Mom. Bruno needs to go to the dentist, not me. Oh, does he? Well, then tonight you can tell him all about your visit to Dr. Dresden. Oh, now don't forget, Mr. E's going to pick you up right after school. Good luck. Bye. Bye. Step me out of here. <laughs> I can't make it to the dentist. I told him Bruno would come instead. Sincerely, Corn. Corny, get in the car. I can't talk, I'm in a hurry. Corny, please get in the car. Can't, Mystery. You don't want me to throw up on your new seat covers. Corny, the real mom and dad are counting on you to do the right thing here. Don't you know I'm your earth dad? I wouldn't do anything was bad for you. It's my job to take care of you. I know, Mr. E. You take good care of me. I'm just not so good when it comes to dealing with scary things. Corny? Corny, a warning. Dad's going nuclear. The dentist isn't half as scary as dad is when he gets mad. All right, all right. Corny, in the car. Now! <laughs> I'm sorry I yelled at you, Corny. Huh? I'm not mad at you. Huh? Huh? You know, huh? everybody huh? is afraid of doing new things. Or like, like, uh, learning to climb a very tall tree. Huh? You know? Fear huh? is the product of our imaginations. Huh? It's like a story that we tell ourselves. We talk ourselves into it. Uh -huh. Every possible bad thing that can happen to us, we put into our head. Especially when we have to try something new that we haven't tried before. 
I make up stories in my head and scare myself. And even though my stories aren't real, I do feel really, really afraid. I just don't know what to do with those feelings, Mr. E. I'm not all that brave. You know how when you use your zapper, yeah. when you're feeling trapped, huh? you just you just you just want to zap yourself somewhere far away, right? Yeah. Next time you want to do that, right? You just try a little trick. <sighs> try acting huh? like you're not afraid. Oh. It's like pretending, right? You can be brave. You can be brave by practicing acting brave. Oh. All it takes is a little practice. And practice makes perfect. <laughs> Go ahead. Smile. Yeah. Just act like you haven't got a care in the world. Uh, that's it. <laughs> What's that thing? What's the thing you're always saying, right? A smile goes a mile. <laughs> a smile goes a mile. It's true. It here. Sark! I'm back! Honey, honey, relax, relax. The dentist is really good at what he does. Otherwise, he wouldn't have any patience at all, right? Well, wait till you see his assistant. She's big, she's hairy, she's butt teeth. What does she ever mean? Capricorn? Uh, my friends called me Corny. Okay, Corny. We're glad you're here. You have any questions before we see Dr. Dresden? Do you have an escape hatch? <laughs> Aren't you the funny one? Let's go meet the doctor. We're lucky today. Dentistry's come a long, long way. Years ago, there was no such thing as Novocaine. Novocaine? Mm -hmm. It's a wonderful medicine that'll numb your mouth so you can't feel pain while the doctor works on your tooth. Years ago, kids like you would come to the dentist with a whole mouthful of cavities. <laughs> okay, corny. How many teeth do Zarconians have anyway? Oh, you mean my munchers. Forty-seven. Wow, you're getting your money's worth today. <laughs> corny, this is a fluoride treatment to strengthen your teeth, okay? You need to switch this for a full minute. Dr. Dresden will be right in to tickle your teeth. Keep swishing. Whoa, whoa. I bet it looks pretty scary with this mask, huh? <laughs> well, I wear it sometimes to protect my patients from germs. How you doing, Corny? Yeah, not so good, I guess. You have a toothache, and that's no fun, is it? Well, open wide, and we'll take a look. Are you going to put all those things in my mouth? I could if you want. <laughs> now, trust me, I've never lost a patient. But you are my first Zarconian. Oh. Let's take a look. Okay. Interesting. All right, let's get a look at that tongue. Hi. Ooh, major tongue. I've never seen one quite that size. You can get a job as a professional stamp licker, Corny. Oh, yeah. I want you to meet Mr. Thirsty now. There he is. Now, this is the guy who sits in your mouth, and he works while I'm working. He'll suck the fluids out of your mouth, so you won't have to spit in the sink. Okay? Things going all right so far? You like it here on planet Earth? I can't complain. They treat you pretty much the same as they do on planet Zarkon? Now, I'm going to give you a little shot of Novocaine here, and this will just feel like a little pinch. Okay? There we go. Sometimes to make patients relax, we give them laughing gas. How'd you like that? It tastes just like bubble gum. <laughs> and I know you know bubble gum. I can tell you should be chewing sugarless from now on. Okay? We're going to clean out that tooth now. Nurse, get the jackhammer. Okay! Corny, just kidding. And now let's decorate it, hmm? How would you like that filling? Do you want a purple filling, a green filling, maybe plaid? I think it's hard That's a good idea. White. White, <laughs> yes. To match your tooth. All right. Very good. There you go. Oh, perfect. Now, this will be fun. This is the blue light. Mm -hmm. 
This will harden the sealant on that tooth. Uh -huh. Oh! Uh -huh. All right. There you are. Now, all we have to do is smooth it down and shape it up. There you go. Hmm? Uh-huh. Zarks, it's slick! Now, I want to extract a promise from you. Uh -huh. The only way you're going to get out of this chair uh -huh. is to promise me you're going to take better care of those munchers. I'll floss and brush. I have your word. Cross my plans! Okay. Let's see. Thank you. What's the verdict? Oh, a smile goes a mile, you know? Yes. <laughs> Next time you come and see me, we'll fix those spaces between the teeth. Uh, oh, no! My mom would get upset. She likes my spacey tea. Well, Mom's no best, <laughs> but you have to stay away from the sweets, okay? So I guess the vending machine would be off limits then? Outer limits for you, pal. No, I want to see you in six months and no cavities. <laughs> now, these are for you. You'll use that. Oh. And you'll use this. Oh. A lot of this. <laughs> okay? Here we go. Off to the treasure bin. <gasps> oh, treasure bin? Whoa! Of course, maybe Earth toys only interest Earth kids. Oh, 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 I'm very interested. Oh, Pick one. Uh, oh, uh, you know, Dr. Dresden, it, it didn't even really hurt. Really? <clears throat> maybe we ought to put you back in the chair. Huh? Oh. Just kidding. And you just call me Dr. Dresden, super dentist, avenger of tooth decay. Huh? <laughs> Zark! I want this one! <laughs> My tooth's all better, and, and Dr. Dresden gave me this awesome Zarkonian action figure. You were right. It didn't hurt at all. Oh, no, please, no. Anything with the dentist, anything. I'll clean my room every day for a month. No, 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 the dentist. <laughs> Do you have a toothache, too? <laughs> Pair for maximum pain. Cut it out, cut it out. Don't mind him. He's a teaser. He teased me a lot. Because I was scared to go to the dentist. I'm not scared. Oh, you can't be any more scared than I was. I was probably the most scared person in the whole world. Maybe even the whole universe. <laughs> but I'm not now. You're not? How no. come? Because I faced my fear. <laughs> I acted brave. And I feel brave. So, you know, you gotta remember, most things aren't half as bad as you think they're gonna be. So here, why don't you have my toy? You can play with that, and that'll give you something to think about instead of the dentist. Uh, thanks, I guess. <laughs> Corey, why'd you give out your toy to him? Him of all people. <laughs> well, he's not gonna pick on me ever again. Because he knows that I know that he's just as big a chicken as me. <laughs> See you around, corny. <gasps> he knows my real name. Bet <sighs> he knows my name. Bye, bye, bully guy. <laughs> come on, come on. It's almost getting dark. Good thing that I'm not scared of the dark anymore. You know, we could ride all night. In fact, we could sleep while we ride. That would be rad. <laughs> Corny, you're really not afraid anymore. Mm. Why not? Tell you why. Because... I don't ever want to be scared of the dark again. In fact, my Earth Dad said, if I act brave, 
I can feel brave, and it works. So yeah, so I'm not scared of anything anymore. In fact, I'm so brave now, I'm not scared of anything in the whole world. Look what I got for you. Whoa. Now you got all the zirconian animals. Where'd you get it? Well, it's the same one you gave to that kid. I guess he wanted to give it back to you. Hmm. The weird thing is, I think he wants to be your friend. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's weird. I'll tell you, I'll tell you, it's weird. Oh, this is cool. Thanks for getting back for me. Ha! You guys are the best friends a guy could ever want. Okay, tell you what. Follow me. I dare you. <laughs> Come on. I'm in the car. <laughs> You can. 